Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to merge data from multiple flat files into a single flat file using SSIS. So a destination can be a flat file or a SQL server table or maybe something else. Okay. But in this particular video, I will show you, you know, how you can just export the data to a flat file after combining data from multiple flat file and the layout of the source flat file can be different. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Alexander Lupiano, and he asked that he has three files and the file one contains like two columns, apple and banana, file two contains four columns like orange, pear, grapes and coconut and the file three contains strawberry. Okay. So these are the three files. So he want to just uh, merge the data from these three files and want to create a fourth file and the fourth file name will be the result file.txt and he want the output like this apple banana orange pear grapes coconut and the strawberry so all the content from each file you know they will be just merged into a single flat file and you can see that the layout of each file is different first file contains two columns second file contains four columns and the third file contains only one column so let's see how we can do this using ssis so let's jump to the demo. So these are the three files, file1.txt, file2.txt and the file3.txt. And if I show you the content of the file1, so it contains two values like apple and banana. And I have added a header like column1 and column2. It's up to us if you want to add a header or not, you know. If you want to add a header, then while configuring the SSIS package, you need to add the extra column, those columns in the SSIS package. So I thought to add it in the file itself. It should be pretty straightforward, you know, uh, while creating the flat file source connection manager, you can add the columns there. Now the file 2 contains 4 columns, column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4, okay. And now the third file, it contains only one column, column 1, where the, uh, you know, column value is strawberry. And in case if your file does not contain the columns, so you can just, for example, let me just remove the column. And uh, while creating the flat file connection manager, I will create the column on the file, okay. So I can save these settings. Now I just want to merge the data from these three files into a single output file. So this is my SSIS package that I will be using today. And because we need to import the data from the flat file and want to export it. So we will be using a data flow task here. So I can just drag and drop the data flow task from the SSIS toolbox into the control flow window. Now I can configure the data flow task. So there is one important thing here that whatever file contains the highest number of columns that file we need to use in the beginning okay so our second file contains the highest number of columns like column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 so this file we need to use in the beginning okay so i can use the flat file source to read the data from the file 2 okay and file 2 contains the highest number of columns so i can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task and now I can call the flat file source as file2 so that I can easily identify what is this file and then I can just configure the flat file source. I need to make a flat file connection manager here so that I can read the data from the flat file and uh, I will call the connection manager as file2 as well. Now I can simply browse the file. So this is my second file. Click open. Now if you preview data, so you can see that data seems good here, you know, it automatically detected the delimiters because the delimiter is the pipe delimiter here, okay. So the data seems good, so I can click on okay, okay. So here I did not have to make any change in the flat file connection manager because it had the header, so it automatically took the column name as the header. Now let me read the second file and I will maybe call it as file1. And now I can just configure this one and create a new flat file connection manager and I will call the connection manager as file one and I can browse the file one open if you click on preview so it also automatically detected the column names and you know the column delimiter is pipe here so the data seems good from here as well so I can click on ok so we got the two files as of now now let me just uh, re try to read the third file as well okay i will call this file as file 3 and i can just make a flat file connection manager here as well but this time this file does not contains the 
header information so we need to just create the column for this one so let me just browse the third file file 3 okay now by default it is like column names in the first detail so if I click on preview so it took the strawberry as the column name but this is not the case so I need to uncheck this one so now if I go to preview so it is started the column as column space 0 okay so we can just uh, make the change here and I can call this column as column 1 okay now if I go to preview so I can see that this is the column and this is the strawberry and if I go to the columns and row delimiter it does not contains you know uh, more information because this is the only column so maybe if we have more data then we can just configure the like column delimiter etc okay so I can click on ok ok so we have configured all the source flat files now we need to use the union all to combine the data to merge the data from three files into a single file first I will add the column that has the highest number of columns then I will add the second file and then I will add the third file okay now I can right click and check the union all transformation so you can see that these output column names so output column names will be like column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 and these are the columns from input source 1 flat file 1 1 2 3 4 and these are the columns from the flat file 1 column 1 and column 2 and this column is from the flat file 3 okay so the columns are coming so we have the data for column 1 from all three files but for the second column we have the data only from the two files and from the third file it doesn't have any data for column 3 we have data only in one file and for column 4 as well we have data only in one file so I can click on ok now we need to export this data into a flat file destination so I will use a uh, flat file destination here but before writing the data into the flat file destination if you want to see the data so we can use a drive column and enable data viewer so if I execute this one then you can see the actual output that is going to be written into the flat file destination so it's better that you can see the data first and then just write it down later so this is how the data will look like column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4 and these are the data like Apple this this is the data from flat file 1 this is the data from flat file 3 and this is the data from flat file 2 ok so I can close this one and uh, now I can just delete the right column transformation and I can use a flat file destination here and to connect the union all with the flat file destination new delimited ok and we can call it as uh, result file browse and uh, new document result file ok you can call it anything I can click on open column names in the first data row columns so by default it took the comma is column delimiter but I want the uh, pipe as a delimiter so I can choose the pie from here now I can go to preview click ok I can go to mappings and uh, all the input columns got met with the destination column so this is good I can click on ok now if I execute the SSIS package then it should read the data from three different flat files and insert the data into a single flat file ok so the data got merged here and if I go to the D files location so I can see a file result file here and if I open the data so you can see that it got the values like strawberry orange pear grapes coconut and the apple banana this is how the data will be populated and you can import this file into a SQL server table or you, you know you can read this file later like in whatever way you want yeah, so I think that's it for today's video and maybe I can share these uh, flat files with you and if you have any question then you can ask me you can comment in the description of the video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I put a new video. Thank you so much.